As you all know, a softbox light is great for illuminating your room and subject and area with some soft light, but adding a grid to that will help direct the light so that it doesn't spill all over the room and just focuses on your subject. Now, as you can see, my office, it doesn't have the grid on anymore, so that's why there's light spilling everywhere. It's super bright, and we're going to fix that. We're going to add a $15 grid that I got from Amazon. And the problem was there was no way to mount it on the actual softbox. So I'm going to use some magic tape, how they call it here in Japan, which is just Velcro tape. And we're going to use that to tape the diffuser film with the grid. And because it is Velcro, it will be easy to remove and attach whenever we want. So let's get started with the corners. We're going to cut up some small square pieces that we can add on each corner of the diffuser sheet. And that way we can hook the corners up. After we're finished with all the corners, now it's time to do the long side. So we can actually cut longer strips of Velcro and we're gonna place them alongside the, the diffusion sheet. And personally, I'm just gonna go by thirds. So I'm just measuring out. Now later on, I do end up placing more Velcro in the center to help pull all the sides. But after we're done with the diffusion sheet, we're gonna cut the pieces that are gonna go on the actual grid and that's going to allow us to attach it to the diffusion sheet. So again, you want to put them on the corners first. So you have the two long pieces that are going to hook up to the small corners that we did put already on the diffusion sheet. And again, the great choice of going with Velcro is that we can attach and detach whenever we want. So it all really depends on the shoot and the needs. We'll be able to use the grid or not. Now, now that we got all the corners finished, I'm gonna go ahead and test them out and see if we got all the measurements okay. And after that, we're gonna do the longer parts of the diffusion sheet. So as you can see, all the Velcro sheets are, it's a little ghetto and casual. It's not professionally done, but it does get the job done. All the corners are good. So let's go ahead and do that center part. Now stretching the grid along the side of the diffusion sheet is gonna help prevent any light from leaking from the sides or the top and bottom. That's why I'm placing these Velcro tapes all along the side. There you have it. Now that it's finished, it's time to hook it up and see how it works. So start with the corners and again, use the Velcro to tape on the edge of the film and then you can do the sides and you can already see the difference. The wall and the behind the desk is really dark and that is due to the light being controlled by the grid and it's all being forced face down into the desk. So if you ask me, this is a complete success. It actually works. So I'm really satisfied with this grid that I purchased from Amazon. And I know there are DIYs that you could do for cheaper, but I just wanted to get this done quickly. I didn't have time to fiddle with going to the hardware store and purchasing the materials I needed. I just wanted to test this out because for $15 with free shipping, it's a steal. It's almost the same thing if I were to do this by DIY. And as you can see from my test, everything is looking pretty well. Now all the light is being directed to my face and my body and behind me, it leaves that area dark therefore allowing us to use different accent lights and R RGB lights, whatnot, to decorate the background. And that's why these grids are really useful in a YouTube studio. Yeah, you can see the excitement on my face. So definitely it was worth purchasing in my opinion, and I might end up getting another one for the other softbox that I do have because I did buy a set of two softbox and I just wanted to test it out for one. But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up, share, and if you have any questions or comment, leave them down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys on another video. Peace.